Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you another white R-Line Atlas. We sell these almost as fast as we get them. This particular one is a 2019 Volkswagen Atlas SE with technology R-Line front wheel drive. This particular one has captain's chairs and a panoramic sunroof added. Standard Atlas features LED headlights, LED um, running lights, halogen fog lights. You see the black treatment right there uh, around the fog light shroud and that extra chrome right there. That's the R-Line package. And in that little badge right there, it says R-Line on it. 20-inch Trenton wheels right there. And then you also have that chrome treatment down the side of the car. Uh, below, on the bottom part of the door, below that is going to be body colored paint. Our line badging on the side door, both sides. Piano black treatment again on the back, around the bumper and the tailpipes. Fake tailpipes at that, but there are actually tailpipes. This car comes with adaptive cruise control, lane assist, blind spot monitoring, front emergency autonomous braking and rear cross traffic alert let's take a look inside this one has Shetland interior there's your lumbar support right there forward and back and then your seat back right here volume control is right here so you can adjust that there's a look at your standard instrument cluster that center rectangle there is actually customizable you can show different things there the car does come with uh, adaptive cruise control lane assist blind spot monitoring as I mentioned uh, front assist is your emergency braking up front and then you also have a uh, compass you can change radio stations Bluetooth is also standard uh, and then uh, driving data is what most people use it's a speedometer as well as average speed travel distance travel time miles to empty fuel economy uh, oil temperature, speed warning, etc. Okay, so this car does come with automatic headlights. Also has fog lights. It's a little coin box down here for storage. Down here is a little lever where you can adjust your steering wheel. It pulls in, pushes it, pushes in, pulls out, raises and lowers wherever you need it, and then you just lock this guy back. Chrome colored pedal caps down there. Got a little tray for storage up here. On the steering wheel, it's a flat bottom leather wrapped steering wheel. So you got cruise control functionality over here, your following distance here, your assist systems here, and then cruise set and resume. Over here you have your Google and Siri functions as well as this little mouse. These are left and right and up and down to allow you to change that display right there in the center. Song skip and preset skips right there. You do have power door locks, power windows with one touch up, one touch down, and then a window lock button right there. And you have power mirrors and a heated mirror. And then you also have a trunk release right there. MIB2 radio right here, which allows you to do App Connect, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, or Mirror Link through the system using that USB port down there. Dual climate zones right here. You got driver passenger settings there so you can have these synced or you can run them separate so thermostat over here 73 degrees 68 over here by hitting sync it makes them both 68 okay so you do also have um, your manual adjust here for that you have an auto setting that allows you to set it set a temperature and have the car, the car regulated just like your nest thermostat on the wall by hitting the menu button, it brings up on your touch screen uh, the thermostat controls as well where you can actually do them here and here on the back row. You can also lock out the back row so if you got kids that like to play with buttons and things like that, you can lock them out. There's also a sync button there and you can turn the entire system off there. Now this other button here, Air Care, is a filtration system that fil filters out outside pollutants, allergens and things of that nature. So you'll see this little blue band expand and cover the entire cabin. It's actually scrubbing the air and eliminating those allergens and other things in the air in the air that it's inside the car. It's a nice little feature. 
Okay, so this car does also have push button start, which is standard from the SE up. Electronic parking brake there. Here's a look at the key fob. Nice little key fob there. Um, there's a panic button on the side right there. Um, and then you have your remote start, unlock, and hatch buttons right there. All right, over here in the glove box, there's an SD card reader as well as CD player and extra SD card holders right there. Now there's wood grain interior that goes around the car, from the door, along the sides, into the door. This particular one has an edgeless mirror with home link. Three buttons are down here for garage door openers. You also have a lighted vanity mirror on each side. Sunroof functionality right here. Power sunshade right there with the panoramic roof. Keep in mind, a panoramic roof is not standard on this car. This is an add-on. It's a $1,200 add but it's well worth it, especially if you like sunroofs. This thing is huge, it's massive. That sunroof, that $1,200 gets you a power sunshade and a giant panoramic roof. The entire front pane opens up and stacks on top of the pane behind it. There's also a pop-up windscreen. You see that right there? The thing is huge. Here's a look at the leatherette seats. These are Shetland in color, Shetland beige. That's also continued over into the armrest. The armrest covers up a spot that up to a medium sized purse will fit in there. There's also a USB port in there. It's a pretty big amount of space there. All right, let's take a look at the middle row. This car, the way its price comes in at $43,620. This one has captain's chairs. So there's a look at the leatherette seats in the back. There's fold down armrests on each of the seats. Now what's neat about Atlas, and a lot, of, a lot of SUVs can't do this, you have latch setups here, latch setups there. But if you have a front facing car seat, you don't have to remove it to get into the back row. Just lift up on this little two way switch here. The seat pitches forward and the passenger climbs into the back. Once that passenger is in there, you just lift up on this again and the seat goes back. There's also a button here to fold this seat flat as well as to recline it. There's a good amount of space in here. Each of these has a built-in sunshade in the door. These just lift up and hook in. And now you have a sunshade to protect your occupants in the second row from direct sunlight. There's again a look at that giant panoramic sunroof. Absolutely massive. Center console for the rear passengers along with two USBs down there and a 12 volt charger. There's all kinds of buttons right there. The, the heat, cool, fan speed, you can change. Here's a look through from the back at the instrument cluster to lay out. Pedals down below. Nice, nice looking vehicle. Again, a look up at that panoramic sunroof. Super nice. And here's a look at the third row. Those headrests do move up easily. And just push up with a flick of the wrist. All right, let's take a look at the back. Power assisted lift, assisted lift gate for the back. That comes from this model up, from the SE with tech up. The SE does not give you power assisted lift gate. It's a manual lift gate. But here's a look through from the back. Lots of room in this. And there's a look at that giant panoramic roof from the back. Lots of space. This is a six-seater configuration. Uh, if you get the bench, you get three people in the middle row. So it's a seven-seater. There's a look at your C-pillar vents. You have them on both sides so your passengers don't swelter in the summer and freeze in the winter. There's a look at the center, the center row or middle row uh, vents along with that 12 volt and uh, USB port down there. There's also a 12 volt charger port back here in the third row. This particular car has 15 uh, bottle and cup holder options. It also comes with a cargo block system, cloth mats and rubber mats on this particular unit. 
spare tire is going to be underneath this little piece of carpet here and down below there. The uh, sidewalls are a little hollowed out so you can store more stuff in the back. You can get a double size stroller back here and get a pair of a bag, a golf bag back here uh, and you can fold the seats down easily with the flick of a hand. Those seats fold flat and then you can pull those up or the uh, second row will also fold flat. So give me a second here I'm going to show you what this looks like with the seats all folded down. And there you have it. There's a look with the seats all folded down. Now with the captain's chair configuration you're going to have that little gap in the middle but that's okay if you're carrying boards or things like that. Um, with the bench that's completely filled in and there's almost no gap in between the front row and the second or the third row. The middle row and the third row. So there's a look through at all the space you have. Giant sunroof, dome lights in the back, seats all folded down and then you just pull on those little velcro straps and the seats come back up. This car comes with a six year 72,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it. That's six years, 72,000 miles bumper to bumper from Volkswagen. That also gives you a 10 year, 200,000 mile engine and powertrain warranty from me at Bomberito St. Peter's here in St. Louis. That's nationwide, so you don't have to have the car serviced here to keep that warranty in place. Also, I'm going to throw in three years of free maintenance. Your 10, 20, and 30,000 mile maintenance are covered. If you have any questions about this car, please give me a call, 636-290-4257, 636-290-4257, or on Facebook at Reese Sells Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good evening.